Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're opening up the brand new 2020 Dunross Baseball by Panini. You're going to get 24 packs, 8 cards per pack, 3 hits in each box. Of course it tells you it could be all autographs or all relics or a combination. So we'll see what we get in here. Typically from the past we've seen 1 to 2 autos and or 1 to 2 relics in there. So... We'll see what we get in this one. I think it's the 1986 design is uh, the main design. And they have all these inserts, a lot of parallels. And, of course, the coveted San Diego chicken card. Which is pretty cool. We've been trying to get one of those for a while. Now. Never's happened. but The relic or the auto or both. And then there's the, uh, what is it? Not the downtown. Um, whammy. Whammy, that's it, the whammy. That's the other big one. That's a case hit. Yeah, so... Did we get one of those last year? No. I thought we I think did. We, maybe we like did. Cody Bellinger, maybe? I think maybe? we did. Or I was know. it Otani or Bellinger? I think it was Bellinger. I don't know. I can't remember, honestly. But So here we go. Dunrest time. Um, always an interesting product. I've actually, we did one year. What was it, like 15 or 14? We opened up a bunch of Dunrest. Yeah. So it was really cheap was, and it was really fun. Uh, yeah, I think it was 15. Yeah, you got a bunch of hits in it. And it was really, it went way down in price. And we have our first hit right in here unless there's just random thick cards. Um, or filler? It's not. Yeah. Um, Acuna, these actually... The design yeah, looks cool. Base design looks pretty sharp. Besides, look, no logos, obviously. Um, yeah, you don't have to talk too much about that, just because right. it's always going to be there. It's just that's it. It is what the it reality. Is. Yep, that's a nice card, the Diamond King. Um, Aaron Judge is like a blue. I wonder if that's the hollow blue parallel. <clears throat> Not sure about that one. I don't know. It just looks blue. It does look blue. It definitely is. I don't know. It looks cool. Um, Zach Gallon, Diamond Kings, Fernando Tatis, or maybe they all, because this is just kind of a blue design to begin with, Domingo Leyva. There are going to be some rookies in here that you will not see in other products, like this guy. Yes. Um, and back to here, so we'll see what this is. Most likely going to be just a relic. I mean, it could be like an auto relic, too, I guess, so. Dunrus 20. Kinda looks like a pitcher. Yeah. Greg Maddox. Maddox. That's kind of I cool. looked at that. His face looked very familiar, and I was like, who is that? Now I know. Yeah, I thought it was someone older. So that's a, out of 99 there, 74 out of 99. Pretty tiny little piece of relic in there, but kind of cool. So that's the 86 design. Collected these as a kid. I loved that blue um, border on there as a kid. I thought that was cool. Dunross, Fleer, Tops, of course, were the big, big guys back in the 80s. Yandy Diaz, Jonathan Villar. Then we have a Mitch Haniger. Oh, that's oh, going to be an autograph, autograph, so two hits back-to-back -back wow. here. Um, not a horrible auto, Mitch. They're kind of cool looking. I mean, Sky high. Yeah. I don't necessarily know if I like get that or not. I don't know. I don't know. Sky high. It's just kind of, yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Um, not numbered, so... There's two of our hits out of the way. I don't know. It seems like in years past they did have some like hot boxes where like I don't know if they like actually call them that, but where you get that Acuna is like a foil. Yeah, I just skipped that, but yep. it's a foil of some kind, not numbered, um, but where you get a lot of hits. So we'll see because it's already two in the first couple packs. So and you can see know. there as Luke just sped by there. You saw Kirby Puckett, Alan Trammell, Roger Clemens. So obviously it's not all modern day players that are in the base set, and it never has been at least at recent pass in Dunross. So here we got Mitch Garver, Pete Alonso. A Brian Reynolds, now playing Austin Riley. There's like a red parallel thing at a 149. Those are cool. There's another blue. I wonder, it says per box on these hollow blue parallel so things. So I'm guessing that's probably not it. I would assume not, or they just made a mistake and then all again every pack, because we've gotten a blue hollow thing in each pack so far. Sheldon Noose, I don't know. This is a Kyle Lewis, or Lewis rookie. It's pretty good. Yeah, so we paid $80 for this box, pre-ordered it, got it from Blowout, uh, so it would be delivered day of, and we got it today on release day. So if you're watching this on release day, it's when we were able to get it delivered to us. A lot of these um, online retailers will try to get it to you when it's release day. There's a Nelson Cruz milestone 400th home run out of 400 there, so... 
hollow or a filler card, then a hollow Cody Love. I thought that was Bellinger, but it is Bellinger, Cody Love. Oh yeah. Um, nickname. The nickname. These are usually loaded with variations and. Yeah, I, I've almost given up on. They have carry essentially no value, um, and they're kind of annoying to find for the most part, actually. So I've kind of given up on looking for them over the past couple of years, and they've had a lot of those in there. So we'll see what we have in the next pack here. Tommy Edmond, Raymond Laureano, Lucas Giolito. Um, this is out of 500, Lance Lynn. Career, 1,326 strikeouts. So it's like another like milestone one. I'm not sure why it's out of 500 and not 1,326, but interesting. Uh, Don Mattingly, hollow. Bregman, Trey Turner. And Danny Mendick. Now this is interesting because in like last year, when we used to open up Dunruss, like pretty much every pack would have a parallel of some form in it, basically. And that's kind of how this box has been too. Yeah. There's been a parallel in every pack without a hit. I think it's been that way for a long time, though. It seems like you get a lot of numbers. Last cards year out it was this. not that way. I remember that because okay. they kind of replaced them with all these weird variations. Yeah, um, that's true. Here's one of them. Josh Hader is like the star border. Yeah, that's one of those. They, the backs emote. are. Um, also, try to interrupt you there. Yeah. The backs are also like a canvas almost. They're different stock. Don't they call them like emoji something where they have like I think different. So borders like that this one's star they have some that are flames some that uh have other like a baby shark on yeah baby shark one yep it was a yordan that's cool great rookie galaraga and tony gwen so i bet you some of these cards may be appearing in our next rookie chase packs that we'll do so stay on the lookout for that we'll be doing another series of those hopefully in the next few weeks and try to get some of the more current release stuff in there Jesus Lazardo out of 349. We'll see. We'll open up some of the retail of this for you guys, too. The Pike. Don't know about that, that one. Kennel Marte. I don't know. Um, Abreg, there's another nickname. Anyway, last year I think the retail was like okay. It wasn't anything super crazy. Yeah. Um, they do have those mega boxes. Those are kind of fun with the pink parallels and an autograph. Yeah, those are actually pretty but good. But we usually don't buy a whole bunch of the Panini products just because of the lack of appeal. Here's a Clayton Kershaw. There's another one of the emoji ones. That one's numbered out of 25, however. It's a little bit shorter print there. Um, yeah. I don't even know what emoji. I've never seen that emoji before. Not but, sure either. I don't know. Kind of cool. Kind of weird. <laughs> like, just a little I'm being different. Being honest, like, yeah. I don't I don't know. I would rather have some kind of, like, cool, like, colored thing. That one's like, card's, like, super white. His helmet's like. Uh, well, he's in like some throwback uniform. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. I've never. It's new. Never seen that in a product before. Um. I don't know. Glaber Torres, Francisco Lindor. Got a Jorge Polanco. Demerte. There's. I wonder if there was like a. I wonder if they still do that. There wasn't, but you know how they do those, like, uh, ones where it'll say, so, what is it even? Well, one was, like, a circle uh, in the back that was yeah, there's either some weird colored ones. or not, yeah. and then, yeah, that showed you the variation. I don't know what it is this year. Corey Seager, this one looks That's sweet. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, it's really high number down, 999. This Elite Series card looks cool of Acuna. Um, kind of like a bronzy gold almost. So pretty cool. I don't know. I like that card. That looks cool. Um, 124 out of 999. Dylan Cease, Yamamoto, Giolito, Rogers, and Wade Boggs. You know, some people out there really like this product, um, and I could, you know, I could see where there's an appeal. It's different than Topps flagship for sure. Obviously, people, you know, hate on it because they don't have the license, but there's nothing Panini can do about that at this point. Yeah, here's a rookie parallel, uh, 169 at bats. Um, on 169 there, Travis Demerti. I don't really know much about him either, besides that he was a tiger, just from the card. I don't know. Um, definitely some different rookies than you see. There's a Boba Shet, but then you would see it in Series 1 here. I like that Gary Carter. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was a nice-looking card. Um, another packet. There's a lot of we got two decoys fillers, already, so. and we're looking for one more hit. 
Um, Biggio. We've got like a star card of Nico Horner. Horner. Um, no, one of those emoji cards. This one is not numbered, however, but they do have, you can almost, you can tell just by looking at the back, you can see like the ridges in the card, almost like a heritage back, kind of. Uh, another filler. Michael Conforto. Hopefully he has a good season. Actually, a really, really long time ago, pulled a 14 Bowman's first Chrome Refractor autograph of his that I still have. Yeah. Um, I think it's still worth or something. something, not as much as it was. I know if you've been following the card world lately, you know that some of these cards have gone bonkers, like Bellinger's PSA and Acuna's. Filmington is, was doing a video on it today. We heard uh, already, oh, I think our hit's in this one. Or maybe not. It's a flipped over card. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but these, some of these cards are going crazy of some of these uh, guys from the last few years. All right, let's see here. Robin Yo. I do like the older players in here, though. That's pretty cool. There's a Harper. Bam Bam. Harper. And Zach Collins. I think this is going to be our hit next, if it is a hit. Um, let's see. Signature series. I so, yeah. And it looks like a pitcher. This guy. Morhan from San Diego. There he is. So, number to 99. You can see there. It's typical Dunras hits for you right there. There he is right there. Back to back. Wow. Don't know a thing about him. Snatch those from More John, more Han, I have more no clue. something like that. So, there's your three that. hits. Uh, nothing crazy, but we weren't expecting anything crazy. We're doing this mainly because we want to show our viewers what is expected or what you could possibly expect out of a box of Darras in case you're looking to pick up one. He pitched five games last year. Um, looks like a reliever possibly. Um, and had a 10.13 ERA a in those five games. So, so yeah, no, nothing that stood out. Yeah. Made you go, wow. I like that Trout Diamond Kings. That's pretty sweet looking. Those blue foils annoy me. The blue. <laughs> You're not a fan of the blue foils? I mean, they look cool. I just, I'm in general, I've never been a big fan of one per pack parallels. Just, I don't know. So you're not a fan of this product, perhaps? I don't hate the product. That's a cool looking card. Brennan K. McKay. Is that, no? yeah, it's numbered out 999 on your finger is covering it. Those look those the rookies cards. Yeah, those uh, look pretty uh, nice. Those look cool. It's kind of a different off colored like bronze. I don't even know how to describe it. Kind of bronzy. It's just something different. It's cool. Let us know if we miss some weird parallel or something because we are not as much in tune with all the ins and outs of this product. Like I said a while ago, we don't open up tons of Panini. We opened up a fair amount of the Prism last year. I thought that was a pretty nice product. Um, but Prism was cool. The value at the price that it was at wasn't necessarily there, but the parallels and stuff yeah. looked really cool. Um, There's a Miggy. I think if they kind of figured that product out a little bit, what they should make, in my opinion, is I think if they made a select baseball, that would probably sell pretty well. I think they are going to make it this year. Are they? I'm yeah. almost sure that they're coming out with select again. They they had it, I think, years ago. They did. Back and in, I want to say, like, 13 or 14 was the last year that they made it. I'm almost sure I saw it on a sell sheet. So let me know in the comments or let us know in the comments. There's a baby shark. Okay, go ahead, everybody. Start singing the song at home. You know it. And a little strawberry. Yep. <laughs> Don't sing it too loud. But, yeah, baby shark. The baby shark emoji parallel. We just hit one. I still don't know. I just think that's kind of weird, but I don't know. Yeah, well, you know. I think, it's, I think it actually has a good – my thought on it is that Older collectors are going to be like, what the heck is this? And then kids who open this product will probably think that's cool to hit a baby shark parallel. Exactly. You know? I think that's... I think I that's kind of what they're gearing towards. Right. This. And I think that's 
you know, sometimes people are a little critical of these products because they're used to a certain way. Uh, but you have to remember, these uh, companies are trying to get the next generation into this. Uh, same goes true with opening day from Tops with some of the inserts they put in there and then Big League. And, you know, they're trying to reach out to a broader audience. So, you know, at least give them kudos for trying to do that. And whether or not we like it, that's a whole other story. But at least they're trying to, you know, do something to create some interest in the younger generation, I would imagine. Yeah, I don't ever like to hate on this product. This is actually what... Donruss is one of the products that got me into baseball cards in general. Made me like them. Yeah, well, back when this came out again, when Penny started making this, it was pretty cool because you got a lot of hits in a box compared like to Top's flagship. And back then... Flagship hits were garbage. Yeah, they, they were bad. Um, so yeah, I'm not being mean by saying that either. I think that we never... Two Cody Loves... I mean, the autos look bad. They were sticker autographs, and they were just of these, like... They were no-name guys, you know, bench players, guys that got called up and never did anything. And, I mean, you hardly ever could find a superstar in some oh, of those yeah. old Tops products. Now it's, it's a lot different, I'd say. You having fun there? No, actually, I'm not. I will do this on camera and watch. I've never opened a pack before. Watch me struggle with packs. All right. We'll see if we can get that coveted whammy card. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, no. No whammy. That's too I bad. I still really like Dylan this. Cease. That's number nine, yeah. 99. For, oh, there's like a different pattern with it, I think. It's the same color, but there's a different. Oh, yeah, there is. See, you can see that on the yeah. camera. Yep. Hmm. Uh, Madison Bumgarner. Mancini. Labor and do I have a card stuck back there? No. All right, three packs to go. This one feel, it feels like it has a filler in it. It looks like it does. No and we got a, one of these. Uh, the flame parallel. Flame. Yep, that's numbered to seventy-five. It looks like seventy-five. Wasn't that the guy that we got the Super Fractor? Of? That was the Mr. Super Fractor, the only one yeah. we've ever pulled. There's a Sean You'd think Murphy. We gotta hit one eventually. A Sean Murphy. Again, I love that. All right, two more packs. So this will probably be the only hobby box of this that will open on camera. I'm definitely much more of a fan of Diamond Kings, which comes out a little bit later on in the year. Definitely yeah. like that product a little bit better. Um, then Dunruss, that's a really low numbered card. Uh, numbered to 10. Numbered yeah. Three. So, huh. Was he, is he a pitcher? Don't know much about him. I Looks don't like know. A pitcher. Yeah. Pitcher. Yep. Pitcher. Definitely Dunruss. had a pitcher look to him. Yeah. That one almost looks like he could be like a shortstop or something too. But. Yeah. It's hard to see. There's a Devers and a George Brett. All right. Think, well, go ahead. No, go ahead. You can. I was gonna say, let us know if you're gonna pick up a box, and uh, you're gonna buy retail hobby. What are you looking for? And if you have already opened it, what have you liked out of the product? I'd like to hear from you. Yeah, I think that overall, besides, I think the few exceptions with Panini are like this, um, and maybe like their optics pretty cool, but like I think overall Panini's actually been doing a better job with their baseball. Yeah, um, yeah. Like there, Chronicles Baseball last year was pretty. That was yeah, like a pretty a hot fun product. One. Yep, um, and I love that product. There's just a bunch of other ones too that are pretty, like you know, they're pretty decent products. So. Yeah, give them props for going out there and trying to you know improve. And I think they have over the years. It's just hard when you don't have the license, but you know that's kind of out of their control. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if you've enjoyed the Panini products, you're probably a fan of uh, Dunross. And if you are, let us know. Obviously, if you're a Tops loyalist, you're probably going to shy away from this. That's understandable, too. But uh, let us know what you think of the product overall. And uh, do you like Luke's favorites, the emoji cards, or, or not? Uh, we'd like to know it, what you think about those. And, you know, do you have a backstory for it? Let us know what the backstory is, if there is one. <laughs> All right, well, well, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. We are going to do some more baseball breaks this week as well, some basketball on our channel. So we got a bunch of videos we're going to shoot. So stay, 
stay tuned for those, and it's going to be some good stuff, I think. Yeah, it should be fun. So, All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care. Have fun collecting.